graphs of equations and what is a fundamental graphing principle. So what is a graph? The graph of an equation is a set of points satisfying the equation. What does it mean to satisfy the equation? Well, let me show you a unsatisfied equation. 2 equals 1. That should make your brain hurt and make you unhappy. 2 does not equal 1. So this is unsatisfied. So satisfied, all that really means is makes it true. So first up, an example we'll look at, is this a relation? This is points, x, y, so it's on the plane, such that x equals 3. So it's going to be points that have a property. Now all this says x equals 3. It doesn't say anything about y. So let's think about what type of points have x coordinate of 3. So there's 3. Here's one point that has it, x coordinate 3, y coordinate 0. Put it right on the x-axis. Now here's another point that has x coordinate 3, y coordinate can be anything, so I just chose y to be 1. There's no limitations on the y. Now every single point in between also has x coordinate 3, every point below has x coordinate 3, every point above also has x coordinate 3. So this graph represents the same relation as this set notation. So these are the same relationship here. This is a vertical line. So vertical lines look like x equals a number. So vertical lines are represented by the equation x equals a for some number a. Now to write that fast, you can say for some a in or is an element of the real numbers. Next example we're going to look at is really similar. Start with points such that y equals negative 1. All right, y equals negative 1. This is not an x coordinate, it's a y coordinate. There's negative 1. I shouldn't have written my negative 1 there. We're going to be drawing right on top of that. But what type of points have negative 1 as their y coordinate? Every single point that is one unit below the x-axis. So here's a point that has y coordinate negative 1. Here's another point and another point, and these will have negative x coordinates, but I don't care in the relation right here what their x coordinates are. They could be anything. So all the points that have y coordinate negative 1 are going to be graphed like this. And this is horizontal line. So horizontal lines are equations that look like y equals b for some b in the real numbers. And you want to be a little bit careful. I like to, uh, if you're going to label your x-axis with arrows, I recommend you only label the x-axis and the y-axis in the positive uh, direction with an arrow, not also in the negative, so that it doesn't look like a line. And you can label your y equals negative 1 line and your x equals 3 line so you can tell that they're lines and not some uh, axis.